born in Oregon, raised in Maine. You've kind of started establishing yourself in Texas, but tell fans where you are right now. Yep. So I'm right outside of Houston um, in Magnolia, and I've been training out in Cyprus, which has been a great, um, you know, part of my journey so far. And, and I was happy to set up roots kind of in the Houston area. And, um, you know, they, a lot of pro guys that I train with out at DST, uh, which is dynamic sports training here in, in Houston. And, and they've done a great job with me kind of, you know, working on some baseball applicable training and, um, you know, really trying to get me where I need to be for this season to start up. So, yeah, it's been great. Houston has been great. Um, you know, I, I still have a lot of connections in New England and um, my grandparents and some family are still out on the West Coast. So it's it's been good. You said you had no off days. Um, you've been in the gym getting in some heavy lifts. You saw a little bit of backyard baseball. Tell us about that. Oh, yeah. Um, so it's definitely been it's uh, it's been busy for sure. Uh, so four days a week I train. I think I stretch the truth a little bit with no off days. Um, but I like to, uh, I like to get after it for sure. And like I said, the community here, um, you know, a lot of key Brian Hayes with the pirates, um, Austin Dean with the St. Louis Cardinals now, um, and just a bunch of other good guys here, um, that you've been able to, you know, kind of bounce off with and, and motivate as well. Um, you know, to achieve this common goal of, you know, playing for the big leagues, um, for a long time. So it's been great. Excuse me, it's been great, and, um, you know, I'm looking forward to keep going with it. Now that you've carved out your own path a little bit, uh, what's what's been that biggest change? Yeah, that's a good point. Um, I think just for me is owning my own journey and owning the experience, and, you know, no one can live this life for you. Um, it has to come from you, and the drive has to be, you know, genuine. And I think that when I was younger, it kind of – it goes from a transition of being, oh, this is awesome. You know, I get to play sports with my friends. And then like, hey, now it's like you're part of something bigger. And, you know, you're trying to win a World Series for an organization and a franchise. So um, I think that's a transition. And, you know, I really I'm excited to be a part of that, you know, this future, this this organization. And, um, you know, it's going to be exciting for sure. Taking a position player amongst the organization that you're going to send out to the mound are you sending yourself or are you picking someone else <laughs> uh that's a good question i think uh i think adley rutschman has a pretty good arm behind the dish uh i mean obviously i wouldn't want to jeopardize anything you know with him but i think he would probably be a good choice so i think fans are going to like that one too i think yeah it's always been exciting just to see yeah. what he can do no so, doubt he's he's capable Take us through that mindset of, you know, you are trying to get ready in your own sense, but it's also the fact that it's not guaranteed the way baseball always has been. You have to be pretty much ready at a moment's notice. What's that mentality been like? 100%. I think that's the biggest thing for a player in my situation is don't let your mind go to somewhere that's going to hurt you. And, um, you know, I've really been diligent in trying to focus on my work and, and the mastery of what I can control. So for right now, I've been, you know, I think today's just kind of a day I've been taking easy, but uh, the other days I've definitely been trying to hone my craft and, and hitting with people that I know are only going to help me and, um, you know, surrounding myself with mentally tough people. And, and, uh, and that's just kind of what my focus has been, has been to not let my mind go somewhere where I can, you know, negatively affect my future. So that's kind of what I've been looking at. You got to post the other day about the Orioles summer slugger program. What do we got going on? Yeah, no, that was awesome being partnered with them. Um, you know, they're doing a lot of good stuff. I think that, you know, for me, I was super excited to, you know, promote what they're doing. And, uh, yeah, it was just an honor for them to ask me to do it. And, um, I, you know, I think students around the country are going to be, you know, super thrilled and blessed throughout that process. So, it's going to be good. It's going to be exciting to see what they end up doing and, uh, and going forward with that. Fans, for those of you who are watching, that program is designed to help keep kids engaged through the summer. That way they don't slip in their learning, kind of the same way you're continuing to train. That mm -hmm. way uh, there's no slip-ups for you right now. Yes, 100%. COVID has you know, devastated a lot of certain elements with the education piece. So I think it's exciting that somebody took the initiative to go out and you know, and look after the kids and really, you know, take care of them and, and make sure that they're they're learning the things that they need to, you know, in the summertime and, and going forward. So 
It's awesome. It's an awesome program. What would be the one thing you miss most about the season? I mean, besides the fact that it was a tremendous 2019 run. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it was uh, looking back on the 2019 team. We had great guys. You know, I think the Orioles fans should be super, super stoked about what's coming in the future. And, you know, like you said earlier, you know, we're a young team. We're looking to make statements and, and go forward and, and kind of flip the script a little bit on what we've, uh, you know, had people and fans of baseball had in their minds. So a lot of exciting stuff and positive stuff along the way. But I think the thing that I miss the most is just being around the team and, and you know, that baseball dynamic that we have as a, as a team and a camaraderie. Um, you know, I think that's the biggest thing. And, you know, I think a lot of people are feeling that as well. And being quarantined inside is they miss the interaction with people and, and, um, you know, especially with the baseball element. So, yeah, that's what I would say I miss the most. And I'm looking forward to get back to. You've retweeted a couple of the coaches. They've been putting out different videos, just showing the fact that all of you guys are continuing to grind. And you can see even those relationships. What have they been able to tell you from afar right now? Yeah. Um, so for us, it's it's a pretty open communication, which is awesome. I think they've set that as a um, as an ideal circumstance for us to be able to just you know say hey I'm, I'm feeling this and i can you can send me the video and all that stuff and and they've been able to at least for what they can see give some opinions and just talk to you and see where your mind's at and i think that's been a great thing that they've put in front of us as players and you know trying to do the best they can with the me development based on the circumstances because it's really tough they're used to being with us every day and you know, same vice versa. So it's been awesome that they've allowed us and, you know, had the freedom for us to do that with them. Okay. So last question, mm -hmm. money and time aren't an object during these last four months. What's mm -hmm. one thing you would love to try to master or just to go do? Okay. So baseball related or non baseball related? Doesn't have to be. Okay. Um, wow. I think I would take my family to Ireland and go golfing. I think that's probably one of the things that I have on my bucket list and want to be able to do. Um, my grandfather and my father are both are heritage from Ireland, and I think that they got some beautiful, you know, stuff. I've never been. I don't know if you've been at all, but, uh, yeah, no, I've heard only good things. Um, but, yeah, that's probably one thing that I would want to do. Who's the best golfer amongst you guys? Ooh. Hopefully they're not in here, but I'd say me. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it, it's golfing is a great, great sport to do. And I think outside is, is something to appreciate and the nature and this, the care that everything is, you know, taken care of with uh, the greens and all that stuff. I think it's just relaxing and something to do that uh, can get your mind away. And especially with family, I think it's great. So oh, guys, you've heard from the best golfer, the best dresser. We're, we're bringing in all the awards. <laughs> yeah, right not now, to toot my own horn too much. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, no, thank you that. so much for joining us. We're, we're going to let you get back to your day and uh, stay safe. Good one. All righty. Thank you, Melanie. Appreciate it.